My name is Kevin Lopez. I'm 17 years old. I'm the primary researcher for the Gatzel Center Community Green Space Project. My name is Alexis Hernandez. I'm 14 years old. I'm in charge of logistics for Gatzel Center Community Green Space Project. My name is Jennifer Garcia, and I'm 15 years old. And I'm the head of promotion in the Gatzel Center Community Green Space Project. Center Community Green Space Project. Gatso Center serves the west and lower west side of Chicago and it provides resources and education to students and family and community engagement. Okay, so get the Pilsen area where Gatso Center is located. It has 76% less green space than the CUY average, and it and Little Village has the least amount of green space in Chicago. So back in 2007, um, this garden called the Cesar Chavez Community Garden has been paved over for a parking lot, and people protested against that. Okay, so the reason that I think this is important is because everywhere deserves the beauty and the um, and the health benefits, the health benefits of green space, and it and Gatso Center is trying to continue the legacy of all their gardens that are trying that are working so hard for. How we're going to make this green space project happen is in the image below, here is Gats Hill Central property. Here we have a triangle, which is helpful because there will be no space for children to play. And it will have a border around. And inside the main garden will be raised and vertical beds. Here also, on the rooftop, there'll be additional plants on it, and also around the perimeter of Ghetto. Here we have our partners, which they are Chicago City Clerk's Office and Ghetto Center. Um, their programs are the Culinary Kids, and this they will bring a uh, city famous chef to get Hill and they'll show children how to make healthy foods using the foods they had in the, they grew in the garden. And this um, will gather attention and possibly more funding which Jennifer will talk about later on. Um, in Gats Hill Center there are healthy moves and adult it shows adults how to engage a healthy lifestyle. The timeline we have planned to do this in, in April during spring break, students will form teams and start planning their plot beds. May, the, the beds will be complete and seeds will be planted. And then June, in the summer, students will spend their day at Gats Hill making sure the gardens are maintained. The expected outcomes of the Gats Hill Center and Green Space project is that we would have more community involvement and we would partner with Roots and Rays and El Paseo, which are com local community gardens, and we would, we would partner with them to expand the green space by increasing popularity with the young people. And we would, what do we expect? Well, we expect to have friendly competitions and make this an annual event for the community. And the growers can sell their products to fundraise for the community and going back to Kevin's point about the green space issues of Pilsen and Little Village, we would target them with specific hashtags such as Pilsen Plants and Pequena Via Verde so that we can motivate them to help the community and we would use um, certain platforms such as Facebook and the pages of the community and and we would post things there and 
on Instagram, we would use this hashtag to come back to the pictures of our garden. And we would use Snapchat to put, put pictures on, our lo on the Lopo Chicago um, story so everybody can see what we're up to.